must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. So I climbed up to the top of the cliff that we were we were climbing on the at the end of the last video. We finally found the tower that we've been looking for for like four or five episodes. It's right there and we will definitely go for that sometime in this video. Wow that mountain has a huge chunk taken out of it. Look at that. That's pretty cool. There's also a shrine somewhere around here. I have a feeling it's inside this cliff somewhere, like we're going to have to bomb something. But since we're on top of this cliff, I thought we should explore it a little bit. Let's grab these bananas. Oh, look, there's some fishy in the water. Ooh, that was a terrible throw. I know you're in there, fishies. Come on out. Oh my goodness, look how many I got. Hardy Bass, Hyrule Bass, Hyrule Bass, Hyrule Bass, Hyrule Bass. Hyrule Bass! And a lizard did not like us doing that. This must have been his private fish pond. Alright, probably shouldn't fight him in his own element. Nice. Spike Boko Club, a few more bass. Alright. Wait a minute, is there anything... Ooh. What's with this? That's weird. Why would there just be a random door? That is very strange. That is a door. It has a handle, it has hinges. Why is there a random door up here? There is a chest right there, which is probably a really good chest, but... Let's explore a little further up here. I want to... I'm trying to figure out why there was a door in the pond. That seems very strange. Plus, there's a lot of bananas. Oh, my goodness. What... Are you shooting at me, sir? He almost killed me. He's got fire arrows. Stop it! There's actually a couple silver boys. There's actually a lot of enemies right there. Enemies I don't particularly feel like fighting at the moment. You know what, guys? I think we're just gonna go for the tower. And then we'll come back and try to get the chest, and maybe we'll clear out that enemy camp. I really do want this chest. I suppose I could grab it and then jump towards the uh, the tower. Usually when there's a golden chest like this, there's something really good in it. Okay, five bomb arrows. Hopefully the lizard doesn't chase me, because I don't really feel like fighting him. Alright. I mean, I'd kill him if I had to, but, you know. Alright, let's see. I'm going to summon Wolf Link. Just in case things get a little bit tricky. And we get surrounded by, like, a ton of enemies. He is very, very nice to have around. Oh, come on. He won't even summon up here? Alright, I guess we can't summon Wolf Link right now. A Mighty Thistle. Wow. First time I found one of those. 
So we're basically right above the lakeside stable. You can barely hear the stable music. I'm gonna hop over to this cliff. Plateau, I should say. The jungle is one area of Breath of the Wild that I feel like I've explored the least. So, I am kind of wanting to explore it. There's also, I feel like, more secrets here than like anywhere else because there's so many... Oh man, that's, that's tar. I almost died. I almost died for you! I thought it was just water. But it would be a lot easier to explore the jungle if I had that that tower. Let's go for it. All right, we found an enemy camp. There's another chest on a tower. Maybe we'll climb up here and then we'll we'll sail down to the enemy camp. Is there really only one guy there? Well, shoot, if there's only... Oh, no, there's two. I was going to say, I've never seen a camp that only had one guy. Man, I love having the climber's bandana and climber's armor. It makes climbing so much better. I really need to go for the climber's feet. But that's nowhere near where we are. Uh-oh. Gonna have to use a stamina recovery, which is fine. I have a lot of them. I do need to go get some more, though. There's a ton of them by the uh, Zoro's Domain. Look at this. I, I, there's there's so many, like, ancient ruins and stuff you find in this forest, too. This jungle. See, the hardy durians, man. I have so many of these. I could make so many hardy things if I were, were to actually cook. We haven't done a cooking with Lucian in a long time. Because I haven't had a need. But next time we do it... My goodness, it'll be the last time we cook probably until, I don't know, until we finish some Divine Beasts, probably. Each one of these hardy durians, I think, will fully re replenish health and give extra hearts. So, I mean, I have so many. This is a very, very interesting looking ruin, altar type thing right here. I wonder if there's something on top of it. No. Alright, well, let's uh, head down. Fight the uh, goblins down here. Guess I'll use my night bow. Oops, didn't mean to shoot. Let's grab this. They didn't even notice us yet. Oh, a double axe. Did he just go to sleep? His friend just saw the scout get one-shotted. Oh, I thought for sure I'd be able to climb those leaves. There we go. Wake up. Let's get him. Oh my goodness. Okay, you want to do that kind of stuff, guys? Hey, you know what? Might as well use one of these since I have so many hardy things. Get him, Wolf Link. I don't know why I'm using a double axe. Let's go. Didn't know he could actually uh, start his attack in the middle of me hitting him. Alright, let's put on the beefy armor and I have plenty of stuff to heal. I'm not even worried about it. Oh, I was trying to backflip and I still couldn't get away. Man, these guys are actually really strong. Maybe I should be using a better weapon, but... 
Oops. I forgot I had bomb arrows. I do have ice arrows. I'm gonna freeze that guy. So we can focus on this guy. Once we kill this guy, I'm just using all my weak weapons because we have them. Oh, I think the other one fell off the edge. Maybe when he was frozen, he uh, he got knocked down. Oh no, he's still down there. All right, <laughs> he survived the fall. All right, let's just take his treasure then. It's my treasure now. Probably junk anyways. Five arrows. Oh my gosh, I called it. Wow, I'm a pro. I almost had 10 arrows, but all right guys. The tower is right there. We are so close. I'm looking for a place if maybe I could do like a, a bomb launch, but... It's alright. We just fly to it. That works too. Pretty cool little wall right here too. Alright. I did think it looked a little bit too easy. And I'm not surprised there's some enemies here that we're going to have to fight. The Poe has a lightning rod. When they attacked me, it made it so I couldn't detonate the bomb. I think even if I shoot him once, that'll like scare him off for the most part. Ow! That that was like a booby trap. Did you guys see that? That was like some Indiana Jones stuff. The 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 rock fell on me when I got close. Just getting rid of all these junky weapons. Come on, Link. Get what? Where? Where am I? What is happening? Oh my gosh! Terrible shot. Oh, there's a chest in there. A silver rupee. Dang it, Wolf Linky. Don't do it. Ooh, got the lightning rod. So, I'm gonna assume that these things are all kind of blocking uh, treasure. Dang it! What? Are you kidding me? Alright, let's try it this way. What was that thing over there? Oh, it's an Octo Boy. Actually, hit it towards the Octo Boy. A soldier's claymore? Alright. This one doesn't really look like it's covering. Oh yeah, it is. Wind tunnel. Wow, that is awesome. Hey, some octo balloons. I actually really want those. They they are so fun to do things with. Do it. Don't go straight up. Don't go straight up. How come they keep popping straight up? It was literally just bats in there. All right. Let's take the wind tunnel. That'll like cut our tower climbing in half. Actually, maybe you even need that because there's like no ledges up here. 
I just realized that. There's no ledges. Like, you pretty much need that wind tower just to get up here. Look at all those platform boys over there, too. We'll definitely go check out those platforms. And then we're going to go back to the lakeside stable so I can find that shrine. I'm not giving up on that shrine, boys. We got to find it. Oh, wow. That's a tall tower, man. Good thing I got stamina recovery. We're going to have to cook some some soon because I'm actually running out of these things. They're having an intense debate over which fish tastes the best. Hyrule bass is the best. No, Hyrule bass tastes like cardboard. Mighty carps taste the best. We got it, guys. Oh yeah, been a while since we got a new tower. And this one was a long time coming, man. It took forever to find this one. Super well hidden because of how deep into the jungle it was. That's like the first time I looked in the distance and seen more blue towers than orange towers. I only saw one orange tower over there. Bloop. Nice. We finally uncovered the entire southeast, like, region of the map. Look at that. Super useful. Now we can actually see the roads and, like, little details and stuff. Look at that, guys. This is everything we've uncovered so far. This is everywhere we've actually walked so far. We've actually barely even touched so much of the map. Look at that. We bar we didn't even touch Mount Laneru at all. Also up here, Tuft Mountain, Yambi Lake. There's a Heart Lake right there. We didn't do any of that. So we're going to have to go back. We will go back to Lurland Village and to check out that star because we found Cass. I heard Cass, but I didn't see him. Alright, so let's go back to the stables and look for the shrine. But first I want to go... Where'd those platform boys go? There they go. Hopefully I'll actually make this jump. Nice. Nice. He doesn't have a chest on his platform. Golden chest. Ooh. A vicious sickle with durability plus only 16 damage, but it looks sick. Sickle, sickle sick. All right, let's go back to Lakeside Stable, which is southeast. Guess we're going this way. Could just warp up to the tower and fly there, but that's alright. When we walk like this, we usually find lots of loot and meat. Prime meat. Man, that reminds me of, uh, like, in California, in the great Sequoia uh, Forest. One of my favorite places, because there's trees almost that big tipped over, and you can walk through them like that. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're getting close to the shrine. I imagine... It's got to be along the base somewhere. 
that we can just bomb it. You know what I mean? <coughs> Excuse me. I bet you it's somewhere along the base. Let's look. It's so hard to see anything because of all the shadows and dust. I think we found it. There it is. No wonder it was so hard to find, man. Shai Yuto Shrine. Alright, guys. We got a tower and a shrine. Both in the same video? We're doing good. We're doing pretty good. Oh, aim controls. Does anybody actually use the motion controls to aim? I find them terrible. Absolutely terrible, in my opinion. Like, they work, but, like, they really hinder your pro moves. Like, you can't quickly aim at stuff doing that. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It's way too finicky, too. You, you can't... It's much harder to get really quickly precise, like, you can't just aim up there and go, pop. You know, it's much harder than that. Alright. Come on. Easy chest that we're also going to have to use for... Wait? Wow, terrible sword. But, I mean, we have to take it because... I can't leave a chest unopened. Gotta get every chest in every shrine. And that's a cool sword, but not as cool as a sickle. Alright, so... I'm gonna need this chest, I bet, so I'm just gonna put it right there. And then, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll carry it along with us and see what we need it for. In my experience, hey, there's the end. If they give you a metal chest, usually you need it. Oh my goodness, you know what? We might actually be able to do something really cool here. Let's see if I can just launch super high. I can. Oh, this is awesome. Alright. Let's try this. No, no, no. Down. Alright, let's try this. Oh, wasn't wasn't high enough. Is this weight not uh, heavy enough? Maybe I got to do it on this this one up there. All right, I'm right on the tip. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, that was an epic launch. I love that. Hey, nice! Ancient core is actually really valuable. Uh-oh. That's alright. I think we can... Actually... That's perfect. See, you do need that chest. Give me my spirit orb! So... Now that we have eight spirit orbs... We can get two heart containers. Yes, eight. May the goddess smile upon you. Which goddess? Because there's actually three. Din, Fe Nehru, and Feror, right? Can't just say the goddess. There's three goddesses. I'm pretty sure. They created the world of Hyrule and also that they created the Triforce. All right, cool. All right, so let's go inside the stables really quick just to make sure. Gosh, it's so laggy right here. I would really love some extra stamina wheels, but 
Wow. But we need the heart containers. They're more important. I'll just take that. I think I have a slot. Hey, it's a doggy. Oh, he's so happy to see me. I'm happy I learned that he likes apples because I have so many apples. He just stopped. He's like, wait, what? Lead me to treasure. Eat as many as you want. As long as you bring me to the treasure. Who's a good boy? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Must be a dragon nearby. Must be a dragon nearby. Wind just was blowing like crazy. The dog literally went and chased the apples too. Alright, that's enough. He had enough apples. Bring me to the treasure. Right behind this wall? Good job, doggy. Golden chest. Ah. Poor Stroller Spear. That's pretty cool and what all, but nah. I'll pass. Hey, it's Beetle. We haven't actually, like, sold or bought anything in a long time. I haven't bought arrows in a long time, and yet I have so many arrows. Yes, just take it, dude. A hearty elixir, sure. Oh, wow. Actually, that's a really good elixir for a beetle. Let's see what you got, bud. I'll, I'll buy all your arrows. I don't think there's a limit on how many I can carry, so I might as well just buy them all. Wow! And uh, I'm actually going to sell. Ooh. I think I need, was it 2,000 rupees to, uh, to open the spring of the horse god? The only downside is I also need a lot of rupees if I want to buy some other special sets of armor that we haven't uh, found yet, but we will. Um, let's just sell like 20 of these. I find these all the time. Yay! There's 2,000 rupees. And uh, I'll sell... Oh. You know what, guys? I really should just go to the Goron place because the person there buys these at such a higher price. But... I, I could sell some of these opals. Let's just sell 10 of them. Wow! Alright, now I have a little bit of money. <laughs> just in case I want it, I guess. Let's see if there's any quest items in here. If I read this, maybe I'll get a quest. The glowing blue bunny. Alright. Alright, this place is cool and all, but I think I've had enough of the leggy forest. Um, where should we go? Mount Laneru? Back to Zora's Domain? I do kind of want to un uncover these areas up here. Choices, choices. Or we could go west. See, you guys, we're about at the end of the video. There's only a couple minutes. Do you guys want me to go northeast and discover this area, these two areas up here? There looks like there's two towers. Who knows how many shrines? <coughs> Excuse me. I would probably check out Mount Laneru as well because I think the climber's gear is either somewhere around here or somewhere around here. It's, it's on the east coast somewhere. I know that. Or should we go west towards the uh, desert, the Gerudo place? This is like a really cold mountainous region in the middle here and then up here is the rito bird place and then we have the goron i think the death mountain is is over here this might be the death mountain or, or it's up here one of those no this this is the forest the korok forest i'll let you guys decide where i go no this is the korok forest i'm stupid so uh for now i think i'm gonna go back to hateno 
Or we can go to Kakariko. It doesn't really matter. Either way, I just want to pray at the shrine so I can get some heart containers before we end the video. Might as well. I mean, I'm just sitting on the spirit orbs and they don't do any good for me if I'm sitting on them. I'd rather have two extra permanent heart containers, you know what I mean? A lot of times when the silver bow goblins hit me, it brings me down to like half of a heart from full health. So I'm finally to the point where I can survive a one shot from them, depending on their weapon. But I would like to be able to more than survive it, you know what I mean? Oh, I love that sword. I'm gonna have to trade out the, uh, the Soldier's Claymore. That... Soldier's Claymore is cool and all, but it ain't the Silver Longsword. That thing probably respawns like every Blood Moon, I'm guessing. Wait, did I warp to Zora's Domain? Oh my goodness, I thought I was warping to uh, Kakariko Village. Uh, where's the, the prey statue thing here? I don't even know where it is. I'm sure there is one. Maybe it's up here. I literally don't remember. Well, since we're here, I might do the Lionel quest. Next, uh, next episode. Ah, here it is. I don't think I've ever prayed at the Zora's Domain before. Uh, let's do heart container. Guys, we are so close to 13 hearts. <sighs> hearts in the chat, guys. Hearts in the chat. Hearts for hearts. Yep, let's get another one. So, how many do we got? We got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is my tenth heart. We got ten. Epic. We only need three more heart pieces. Three times four shrines. Twelve more spirit orbs, guys. Twelve more. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm just gonna probably go sleep on that waterbed, to be honest, because it does give me a few extra hearts. And, those, those. and then I'm probably actually going to do some cooking off camera as well. Hey. Or would you guys like to see uh, cooking with Lucian? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you if you don't, if I don't see anybody say like, mm -hmm. yeah, let's do cooking with Lucian, I'm just going to do it off camera before I start the next episode. But if you guys like watching the uh, cooking oh. stuff, what seeing what I do, then let me know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> As always, I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.